Hello Nottingham Madness fans, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to Sutton Scarsdale Hall. We've been here before, but the good news is the house fencing that they had surrounding the building has been taken down and it's now unprotected. I'll just pan around and give you a view. This is what you can see when you're at Richard Arkwright from your dining room window. We're just panning across. There's bowls over Castle straight ahead. I'll see if I can zoom in that far. And then see if we find bowls over Castle. There it is, there's bowls over Castle. Straight ahead in the distance. It's only a couple of miles away. Carvale. Carvale Garden Village. We were there last week on a video on the Stockley Trail on the Brompton. Right, beautiful building. In all its magnificence, magnificence should I say, all that remains of the beautiful interior is let me find a gap to poke my phone through mm -hmm. some rather ornate plaster work one of the fellas that own the place is missus employed an italian artist or plaster 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 artist whatever the artisan is that does plaster work and this is all that remains of this fantastic magnificent interior it was full of ornate plaster work fireplaces oak panelling that's all that's left of the former beauty other than this absolutely magnificent structure. Let's get in close, let's get some perspective of height. These lovely carved sandstone columns. Reach for the sky. So there's some words here. A great country estate built on raised grounds at the Scarsdale Hall enjoyed sweeping views across its deer park towards Bowles Over Castle. We are here. The hall is here. We saw the view. Balls of Castle sort of centre as we swing around. So let's pop back down to here. So this shows the estate. You got a brew house. Anybody who's got a brew house is top dollar in my book. Gardens, farmyards, stables, the hall. St Mary's Church is next door. We'll go and have a look at St Mary's Church. Logistically, regionally, We've got sort of Scarsdale Hall here, which is English heritage. Bolsover Castle, which is English heritage. Hardwick Hall and Hardwick Old Hall, National Trust and English heritage, heritage, respectively. And the motorway, M1, that sweeps up through it all. So if you to approach as a tradesperson, one would assume you'd approach from this, but this is probably the front of the hall. It's very hard to tell with these stately homes, especially on a commanding piece of land like this, because I guess this would be the front entrance because this would be the carriageway or where the carriages would pull in to let their people alight. Some rather nice castellations above. You can just sort of grab those 
coming through this angle. Again, some of these magnificent sandstone carved square pillars. No idea what period they're from. I'll say Renaissance, because it's, it's the only one I can think of. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous sunny afternoon. We're actually in northeast Derbyshire, sort of just off the off the North Knots, northeast Derbyshire border. What is intriguing is when you see the wear in the sandstone. Which isn't a good place to see it, where the wind has eroded the stone away. Speaks history. See the holes in this, worn away by the erosion of the wind, or eroded by the wind, should I say. Then over the years, English heritage of try to sympathetically repair and replace where necessary, but without undoing the building's history. I think we're heading towards a little information plaque that should tell us more about the building and what we're looking at. Behind the uh, mesh there, the, the bars is, that's where the room is with the ornate plaster working. In fact, we'll just have a quick look from this angle. Through the bars, I don't want to drop my phone. Get another hand in. Zoom. So the design of the sandstone pillars outside have been replicated in the in the plaster work. In fact, if we can get it's half in the shade. But you can see the whatever it is on top there the design of the crest or logo so it was a party house a house for entertaining from 1820s Sutton Scarsdale was home to the descendants of the great industrialist Sir Richard Arkwright So we're here in the second hall. Oh, we're the only secondary then. But it's a great hall. So we walked in through the courtyard and we sort of walked in here and turned left. And there's the best drawing room there. And while the drawing room is sort of north side of the hall in the shade. Best dining parlor. New hall or billiard room, lower bedroom, closet. We're going to look at the closet. Smoking room. And we've got St Mary's Church at the side. So I'm more just, that, in fact, that is, so that, yeah. So that is out of the sun. Well, that's actually, the sun's coming this way, actually. So this is the, the northern edge. I got that all wrong, didn't I? Not like me to get anything wrong. Where else can you wander? A splendid ruin in peace. There's only about four people here.
Somebody's left a teddy behind. Hello, Teddy. So we walk through here. So every room has a fireplace. Rooms aren't too big, so I would think it was reasonably easy to keep warm. Here we go, the lavish Baroque interiors. This is what I was saying about the, wow, look at the photograph there. So that's the hall in 1919. And there's some of the beautiful oak panelling. Some of the chairs, the furnishings. So this isn't that long ago, is it? That's um, post, that's post first major disagreement. I'm not going to read this out to you because you can work for yourselves and you can uh, go and look online and and see how the how the place was destroyed and decimated by unscrupulous owners. I believe a banker. Banker with a V. And it all went to America. So where it is in America, does anybody know? I wonder where it went. And I guess I couldn't take the plaster to work. I'll just pop out through the door here and I'm going to have a walk around again. So people there look, oi, go off my land. The ornate the stonework around the, the windows. I guess I guess it's I guess it's done well to survive because if it had been taken apart a hundred years earlier, it would have gone. The stone would have gone. I seem to remember there's something about the if you read the history about the hall, how it was actually saved by a local person, I can't think of the name, but I think it was saved by somebody poking the nose into other people's affairs and got it protected. All I'm going to show you from Sutton Scarsdale Hall. It's a short video daily. Thank you for watching. Bring it back on another one. I'll include a link to the Hypnosis or whatever it is on the internet, some information about it, probably English heritage.